Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is your man Daud Rahman. Today I'll be teaching you about one of the topics in business and that is break even. Break even. So, so, so starting off, what is meant by the term break even? So break even is when a business makes neither a profit nor a loss nor a loss so what that means is what that means is is that the total costs equals the total revenue so when the to when the total cost of a business equals this total revenue so I'll draw you the break-even graph. So I'll draw it down here for you. It won't be too big. So here it is. Here's the graph. But I'll label it for you. Thirty thousand. So, so what I've done here, I've added, I've labelled everything. So I just need to do level of output. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this. You've looked at this quite a lot before. Uh, for those for those of you guys who are new here, this is the break-even graph. So, if you don't know what these lines mean, this is the revenue line. This is the revenue. So from zero zero, all the way up is is how much revenue the business makes. This is the total costs, total costs, which is total fixed costs plus total variable costs. So that's the formula for the total cost, total fixed cost plus total variable cost. And this is your fixed costs. This is your fixed cost. So it means the level, so it's when uh, the level of output changes when cost stays the same. Changes when the cost stays the same. Stays the same so so the cost so the costs of of the production the costs of whatever production will stay the same regardless of how many units of output are being produced for example one unit two units three units the cost will just stay the same it won't change so that's your fixed costs i'll give you i give you some examples so fixed costs Costs. I'll give you some examples. So, rent is one of them. So, when you rent a house, right? When you rent a house, right? The cost of you renting the house stays the same. It doesn't change. Bills is the second one. So, the amount of bills you have to pay for electricity, oil, gas to the government, that also stays the same as well. It doesn't increase or decrease. Uh, advertising. Advertising is the third one. So the cost of advertising a product or trying to promote it will stay the same. Insurance costs. Insurance costs is another one. So you getting a driving license, for example, that will stay the same. And finally, salary. Salary is a very, very big one. So salary is the amount a worker gets paid. Pay, uh, uh, what is it? Per hour. Per hour. Salary is the amount a person gets paid per hour. And, that's, and that stays the same. That stays the same. So those are examples of fixed costs. And here, I'll draw, I'll draw a dot here. So when, the rev, so when the total costs intersects the total revenue, we can draw the equilibrium down here. Equilibrium. So that here, so 
is roughly around 3,300, roughly, roughly. And when you do the equilibrium here, it's 25,000. So, so that leads to something else. So, so the level of output producing 3,300 units will cost 25,000. So every 3,000, so a total of 3,300 units produced, yeah, as I explained. So, and that leads us to another thing, which is called margin of safety. I'll write it here. Margin of safety. And what that is, is the difference... between your break-even level of output break-even level of output and the extra output produced from that break-even extra output produced from the break-even point from the break even point. So, if if the break even point is three thousand three hundred, let's say, break even, that's the amount of units we need to produce to break even. And let's say we produce over it, so we produce at four thousand. We produce at four thousand instead. That will cost us roughly around 27,500, 27,500. So your margin of safety would therefore, we use two of the units, MOS, let's say, equals 4,000. Well, let me rub it out. Uh, it will be 4,000, take away 3,300, which is 700. So your margin of safety in this case would be 700. Because the extra unit, or the easiest way, is just find the difference between both of these. So the difference would be seven, 700. Because this is your break-even, and this is your extra level. You're producing at 4,000 units. You're producing, your fixed cost remains the same, don't worry about that. You're producing at 4,000 units, full units. So the difference between this and that is your margin of safety. So yeah, so, so that's break-even for you. Yeah. So if you enjoyed my video, please uh, please like, subscribe, share and comment. And if you have any questions down below, then please put them in the comment section. Uh, I'll see them, I'll see them. So if you yeah, I hope you guys learned something and see you in the next video. Peace out.